Shar Margolis, Shar Communications Incorporated, and Shar Vision LLC do not endorse or offer for any purpose but entertainment the views of any guest or other expert on Shar Vision or UBN. I knew things before they happened from the time I was a child. At the age of eight, I saw a spirit at the foot of my bed and didn't know what it was. And in my 20s, I finally realized I had a special ability that could help others. I have learned that love never dies. There is a spirit world that can communicate with us, and we all have the gift of intuition. Join me, and together we will explore the possibilities of the unknown from beyond and more. This is Shar Vision. Hi, everybody. It's Shar and Sunny. And um, let's see, today we have a really lovely lady who's an expert with design and color. I don't even think I have always understood how important color is. It's, it's kind of like, um, like when we balance our chakras, we're always having, the, each chakra correlates to a musical note and a color. So we're going to pick her brain about color and design because she she knows how to let the energy flow properly in your home. She'll like say, you need a yellow wall there and a green wall there, and well, that would probably be ugly. But but anyway, we're gonna we're gonna ask her all about it. Her name is Donna Frasca. Hi, Donna. Hi. It's so nice to meet you. Nice to meet you as well. Thank you. Um, okay, so whoa. Okay, so you're an interior designer and a color expert, right? Yes. Mm -hmm. And and so it, you have a degree in interior decorating, and yes, a, um, a decorating and design, interior decorating and design, and design. Yes. And so you have all kinds of certifications. Yeah. Um. So, how do clients find you who understand what you really do with color and design and and because it's an it it sounds like an energetic way of of making someone's home feel peaceful and safe and happy. Yeah, well, it didn't start that way. I started my career uh, thirty years ago in interior decorating and design, mm -hmm. and it wasn't until probably about the last, uh, the past ten years, that I decided to specialize in just color. And only the past few years where I decided to specialize in holistic and virtual design, and that's where it oh. comes in. Yeah, and that's where the color um, really comes into the home. Color that needs to be in the home. Not just color that people want in the home because it's pretty, right. but it's color that um, people actually need to be in the home to have the right energy. Um, you know, well, you know, well energy tell us too. about the work you do as a color expert therapist and how you know what colors to put in. And tell us about this. Well, um, I'm not a, not a therapist, uh, just a color expert, which means I now specialize in just the color aspect of interior decorating and design. And it really pins, pinpoints the the need for the right colors in a home, mm -hmm. um, and it's really a um, it's turned at this point it's turned to a very intuitive design, where I would go into the home, uh, and usually there are homes with open floor plans, mm -hmm. and people would say, you know what, I just want my home to feel good. Can you help me with these colors? Sure, and I just listen to the people, and I get a feel of. Um, you know what type of person that they want, they are, and what they need. You know, do they want to be happy or just calm? And then, based on what they're telling me and the feeling that I get from them, mm -hmm. then color palettes start to um, come through in my mind, and I just see either a coastal color palette or maybe a certain green or yellow. So, and if somebody wa wanted to have a calm, a calm atmosphere, is there a certain color that you would suggest, or different colors? Uh, well, that's that's kind of tricky because calm could be anything from neutral shades of white to the very popular coastal um, yellows, green. Calm can be any color. So this mm -hmm. is where it's really important to um, really chat with the client to to get a better feel of what they want. Also, and, by looking at their home. And it, if somebody's like depressed, can you find a color that will help change their mood? Absolutely. And it's funny you should say that. I recently had a client that um, she she said, please help me with color with my home. 
again, with the open floor plan. And uh, as we were going from room to room, I, I sensed it, we were struggling. And this is where the intuitiveness comes in very handy. Uh, and so finally, by the time we got up to the second floor of the home, something told me to ask her about depression issues. So wow. I said, okay, um, who here is depressed? And she was like, what? I'm like, okay, is, is somebody in this room, is she and her husband, Wow. do you have depression issues? And who has ADHD? And they were like, um, we both do. I'm like, okay, you guys need to be honest with me uh, and tell me if you have any health issues because that's when choosing the right color or avoiding certain colors will really come in handy. So in her case... One had depression, so that would zero out most of the muted hues and grays, but the other needed um, less energy, where she needed more energy colors, right. higher energy, such as oranges, uh, teal, red, and he was the opposite. So how did you, well, like in the bedroom, what did you do? Well, that's when my, my uh, <laughs> light bulb came on. We were in the bedroom, and it was almost like I had a little tap and say, okay. Let me guess. depression. He has this, you know, Let me just guess. come out and ask. Let me guess. He used taupe, gray, and turquoise. Um, no. What did you use? <laughs> <laughs> well, um, I suggested a few. Gray was not even, you know, not not allowed in that home. Oh, okay. Um, I suggested purple, oddly enough. Oh, that's a good idea. Is, yeah, uh, not, not a, a muted purple, but one that's kind of uh, lively. Because it's a, it's a color that both um, he and she would like. It's neither. It's a universal color. and But she, it still was too lifeless for her. So I had to take it up into the bluer side, which was closer to turquoise. So that was a good good hit for you. Yeah, it was closer you, to turquoise. Oh, turquoise. You did do turquoise. Yeah, actually in... Um, Purple and turquoise. That's Those are good colors together. They no, it was only one. Couldn't have oh. not, not two of them, but they, okay. those were colors I suggested, and she was happy with that. And I also chose turquoise, uh, brighter colors for some of the other rooms, in her, you know, her rooms, like her, uh, her office and her exercise room. And did, now, did his mood change, or did her mood change, or did it get better, yeah. or it sure did. The second, wow, uh, they were struggling, and I knew it. I just felt it, and but the second I said, "Hey guys, you know, you have to be honest with me because because I already know." That you know, there's health issues here. Just tell me. So the second I said, okay, let's let's be honest with color. It was a sigh of relief for them, and he was happy because she was happy. So together Aww. they were happy, Aww. and the, the colors were amazing. So I said, okay, you know what? Let's go back downstairs, redo those colors because it took me a really long time to choose the colors downstairs because they weren't honest with me with their health issues. You know, that's interesting because anyone who either is a psychologist, a psychiatrist, an intuitive, a psychic, a healer, people need to be honest with the person helping heal because you can't fix something unless they're, if you're getting a hit on something and they're denying it or they don't want you to know about it, you can't help them or it's harder to well, help them. Well, I mean, you have to have respect. Respect. Um, yeah, absolutely. Yeah. So, I mean, I knew that they had, uh, and I took a chance coming out and saying, okay, who has this, who has that? Because that was a little strange. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> really. Because how many decorators walk into someone's house and say, who's ADHD? <laughs> who's and depressed? This is my virtual design comes in handy because I do virtual. 90% of my clients now are virtual, which means I can do this for uh, clients all over the country right here from my office. And how do people find you? Social media. Yeah, but what, uh, how, what's, your, what's your contact? I, uh, a, a virtual, if you, if you Google virtual color expert, I'll show up a lot. <laughs> virtual color expert. Yeah. And do they put your name in? Well, usually do a search for uh, color expert, color... Okay, but we want everybody to go to Donna Frasca. Well, well decorating by Donna is best. Decorating yeah. by Donna. So Google mm -hmm. decorating by Donna. Okay. And because we don't want people to just go to anybody. Now, do I you... I appreciate that. But, um, yeah, it's, it's a lot of... Uh, again, if, if they happen to uh, search virtual color expert, you know, I'll show up as well. Virtual color. Okay, and do you see auras? I do. Oh, um, tell me about that. So cool. Um, I First, I see chakras really well. And all the aura is, is the extension of a chakra. Oh, that yeah, makes so, sense. Yeah, um, so, you know, the well, I, ha I happen to have a few samples of 
chakra colors right here. Oh, let's see. Um, and, you know, first I see the chakra. And again, like, uh, let's say you would have um, the solar plexus. Yeah, that's a hard one because it has to do with self-esteem. Yeah, and actually the other day in my um, exercise class, uh, it was a um, yoga meditation class. Yes. I got into a meditative state and I saw my own chakras huh. out of whack. My blue one, my third eye was here and my solar, solar plexus was here. Um, wow. So I'm in class. I'm like, oh, really? I go, <laughs> my third eye is out of here and my solar plexus. So I knew I had to work on those because I saw them outside my body. Right. Wow. So, you're, uh, you're, 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 you were being healed. You're healing yourself. I, I healed myself. <laughs> That's so cool. Yeah. Well, um, and also, uh, I had a client who, uh, also her, her solar plexus was shooting out the side of her body, um, almost like a, like a mushroom cloud. Huh. So when I was reading her and it, it was, it was online, she was not even in front of me. Um, I asked if she had any stomach issues. Because that's what the, if you have um, an imbalance of your solar plexus, you'll have stomach issues, uh, you know, problems in the stomach area. Right. Because I saw that it was just, her yellow was just shooting out of her left side. Well, and she says, you, yeah, she goes, I have horrible stomach problems right now. That's so. incredible. You have <laughs> an, an amazing communication with color. Yeah. I knew someone who could hear color or feel oh. color. Like, it, it sounds like you have that kind of connection with color. Um, I, I'm very uh, clairvoyant, so I can, I can see a lot. Um, right. I, I, I can see um, when somebody has a headache, there's like red spikes that come out of the top of the head. Whoa. Um, so depending on what the chakra looks like, where it is in the color, you can determine what's wrong with the person. How, how can people see auras? How do, you, what, do you have any like suggestions of how to do that? Um, well, there's, there's two ways. I mean, you can, uh, some people can just see them uh, naturally. Uh, like I, I noticed them on my cats. Oh. Uh, actually, yeah, actually, um, oh gosh, this was probably about 20 years ago. I was leaving for a trip and I went to say goodbye to my cat, you know, on my bed, pet, pet him on his head. And he had this immense um, yellow aura around his head. I mean, oh. like six inches at least around his head. He's like a little angel. Oh. And I'm like, wow, my God, it's really beautiful. I, and so I left the house. I told my husband, I go, something's wrong. Something's wrong with the cat. He, he was glowing. Long story short, he passed away. You know, oh, no. So he, that was his way of, of oh. alarming me that he was about to go to the rainbow. Yeah, we, we can never really be prepared for anyone's death that we love. But, yeah. but that was a tip-off for you for sure. Yeah, Aww. so sometimes when... Uh, you know, to to see an aura, sometimes you can you can see it that way. If uh, how well, how what else can you how can you look at someone's aura and see if they're like you said the headaches? You can see spikes of red. What other things do you see for uh, for health? For health, um, well, I mean it's kind of general. Again, the um, the aura is all about the the chakras popping out. Okay. So extending out of the body. So if somebody's really happy and, and, and loving, uh, you may see uh, green, you know, outside the person because green is the heart chakra. Um, oh, right. So, yeah. So uh, now red is the uh, root chakra. Right. Here. And um, a lot of times people, you know, I mean, sometimes they think it's an anger, you know, anger color, but all, it also could be just... Um, you know, it's a high energy color. So sometimes somebody might have red around them um, or yellow. Uh, again, the like I mentioned yellow before, the solar plexus. Right. They have an ego, you know, problem. Sometimes they have too much yellow, uh, which is, uh, again, self-esteem mm -hmm. and, and, and ego. Well, that's so, that they, they have ego because they're insecure. Um, well, well uh, you, yeah, or they have a little bit too much. Ego, too much yellow, so they but might so be I, I believe conceited. a lot of ego comes from insecurity, but maybe not everybody. Yeah, well, it could go either way. But uh, again, auras change depending on what we're thinking and uh -huh. how we're feeling. They constantly move, constantly change. What is your definition, your definition of chakras? Chakras are, um, we have 
uh, seven main chakras. Again, right. I'm not showing you my little circles, which are the basic basic colors. Right. But we have many, many chakras. Um, and they're, they're energy centers. Everything uh, that we are uh, and around us is made up of energy. And the, the, the chakras are circles and they spin and it's just energy. It, what, it's what makes us alive. And uh, as they spin, sometimes they spin slower or uh, sometimes a chakra will have a, a spot on it. Or as a matter of fact, I saw my third eye chakra the other day and it had a tear in it. Oh, yeah, I saw this blue one and it had a tear. Ooh. Um, but so if something is, if our chakras are, um, our energy centers are out of balance. Right. And we don't fix them, like how I aligned my, my chakras, if they, if they remain out of balance, that's how we physically get sick. For example, the root chakra, which is red, mm -hmm. um, that is our grounding, our, our physical body, uh, our grounding to uh, Mother Earth. And, it, and it's also the skeleton, uh, skeletal system of our body, which if it's out of balance, we might have osteoporosis. Oh. Uh, we may have um, other issues about with our back. A lot of people have back issues. And it all may yeah. stem right from that root chakra. If, if you're not sec you know, secure to the ground and walk firmly. So, so, so you're saying the root chakra is really important to make sure it's grounded. Yeah, yeah, just to, um, it, it connects us to Mother Earth in our physical body. And it, it, if we, and if we're not grounded, if we're all kind of a flutter. That, that makes good sense. Yeah, that's how, um, you know, then that's how maybe uh, some of us would develop, like I said, osteoporosis. And it's important to get that. How can using colors in someone's environment help to balance their chakras? Well, um, like the example I just said, if your, let's say your root chakra is out of balance, mm -hmm. um, to get it back in balance, you might want to wear red or have red in your home somewhere. People love the red dining room. Mm -hmm. uh, so to visually see red, to eat foods that are red, such as beets or um, radishes, apples, mm -hmm. that all helps get that uh, root chakra well, back in alignment. What if it, somebody has a broken heart? A broken heart? Well, that uh, the heart chakra is green, and sometimes it's emerald. Pink. It's emerald green, right? Um, yeah, pretty much. Yeah, um, you would again uh, eat things that are green. Uh, that could be anything from broccoli to lettuce to peas. And again, in the home, incorporate green uh, wall color or mm -hmm. plants. Anything green, so you get a visual of that color in your home. So the more you see green or whatever chakra you feel that needs to be balanced, mm -hmm. then everything starts to get back in balance. And so if somebody's symptoms, having a bad sex life, would they eat a lot of oranges? Yes. <laughs> they would. <laughs> <laughs> okay. And That's so do you think like orange <laughs> underwear would help or... <laughs> um, actually, um, I'm having a workshop here locally where I live, and that's one of the topics I'll be speaking about. Um, if you have a little trouble in that department, or you try to, um, if you have infer infertility issues, orange right. is the color to have in the bedroom. We're not talking Home Depot orange, oh. but maybe a nice spiced orange. Um, yeah, that'll all help. Wait, and what color? A spice orange, like a brownish orange? Yes, mm -hmm. spicy orange, like pumpkin. Like pumpkin. Yeah. I mean, you can really do any orange from uh, shade from peach, which a lot of people are not fans of. I can see all my clients trying to get pregnant, going and buying those halo or and eating all uh -huh. those halo oranges. <laughs> so they'll get pregnant. Yes. Um, ginger, if you're into aromatherapy, aromatherapy mm -hmm. uh, ginger would work for that. If you're into crystals, amber, you know, anything, anything orange. Oh. Right. Yeah. And then, what would you say? A salt lamp. A salt lamp. Oh, that's a good idea. Mm -hmm. I do have you know about back. that, John? <laughs> yeah, do you have a salt I lamp? Do, I do have one. You yeah. have a salt lamp. What's a salt <laughs> lamp? And I'm learning something. <laughs> Himalayan salt lamp. I have I have one behind me, like right, right back there. Um, it's it's just a nice, and it has a nice Wait, is that glow. for sexual? Well, you can. Himalayan. He's a laying. <laughs> He's getting laid. <laughs> Okay. <laughs> Our conversation just went south. <laughs> I'm sorry. Bring it, bring it back. Alicia says I have a bring it back. Okay, but what is a salt lamp? 
Oh, um, it's, 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 <laughs> it's, it adds mood to the room, and it's, it's just a nice, uh, it's a nice the piece to the air. <laughs> <laughs> I'm so sorry. We, we haven't gotten out of junior high yet sometimes in this room. Clearly. <laughs> okay, so. Well, I'm glad you're having a good time. <laughs> yeah, well, but you're helping us have a great time. Okay, and you're teaching us something. Okay, so. <laughs> So let's, let's, okay, so the crown chakra is violet, right? Yes. Okay, so where would you put that in a house? Well, that's a, a spiritual color, and it's the color that um, connects us to the divine and our spirituality. So a lot of times in a meditation room, uh, like this is my office right here, and you can see it kind of teeters between lavender and pink. Oh, that's so smart. Yeah, so, um, you know, I do a lot of my meditation and, and, and my, my card readings and my color work and just so I can connect well. That's the reason I have that color in this room. You know, a pink is also the heart chakra, you know, so it's... Pink it's, is love, isn't it? Yeah, I was just going to say, it's, it's love, so I, I just love this room. It feels good and it teeters between the, you know, that, that lavender that the, um, or violet, that the crown chakra is. Mm -hmm. So it works well with me for mm -hmm. what I have to do. Yeah, and then what about indigo? What about indigo? That's the indigo is the third eye chakra. Th third eye, yeah. That that was the one that uh, I saw the other day mm -hmm. uh, when I was going through all my chakras that I noticed a tear. Okay, it, so like, how do we how do we know if we have an off like you see colors or you see tears, but not everybody sees that. So we just need to feel it, huh? Um, well, know that nobody has perfect chakras all the time. So if you just go through your, your system each day and say, okay, you know, I'm clearing my chakras and spinning them nicely and mm -hmm. if there's any spots on them, you know, the spots go away and they're infusing them. You know, I infuse my chakras with more, more color. You just set your intentions every day to do mm -hmm. that. And, um, that's all you have to do. No, no fancy ceremonies or rituals and, you know, that's it. Very right. Simple. Then that's simple and and we all can do that and it costs nothing. It's we just yep. Yeah, um I had I um had music composed to balance the chakras because each chakra resonates with a musical note and a color. It's called chakra therapy. Nice. I think we should send you uh if you want we'll send you a CD. Would you remind me? Okay. Yeah. That's great. Yeah, I uh the man who Composed the music as a healer and a chiropractor and, and measured it with a skio machine, which is an electromagnetic energy machine that really is, is it really works. Like it, 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 like it really makes a difference after we balance our chakras. Absolutely. And I, I didn't know that much about it. I just learned by doing and it, it, mm -hmm. it, it actually, it's very calming and very healing. It how, is. How do colors factor into health and well-being? Um, well, again, uh, if you have any health issues from uh, your chakras being out of balance, like I had mentioned before, um, you'll want to incorporate those colors into your diet and your everyday life. Okay. Uh, I mean, again, uh, solar plexus, if you have issues of insecurities and, mm -hmm. and um, you know, of self, just, just incorporate yellow uh, into your life. It could be just adding uh, flowers to your home, uh, sunflowers. Mm -hmm. Anything, anything yellow. Sunflowers. Uh, those are so pretty. Yeah, yeah. But little subtle things like that by uh, e eating like yellow if you, food. So if somebody has a child who has poor self-esteem, maybe paint one of their walls yellow. Um, In their well, bedroom? Yes, that, that's, that would certainly help. Uh, and yellow is a great color for a, a kid's room. A uh, lot of energy, though, so you might want to... Use a shade of yellow that's not quite so bright. Oh yeah, it's too much energy for a child. But, but there's a there is a pretty if, color yellow that I've seen and well, I actually have it in in one of my bedrooms that is very calming. It's like a very light yellow, like a butter butter color. Yeah, like yeah. that, like butter. Yeah, that's a great color to have in a home. That um, is really beautiful, isn't it? It, it is. Uh, yellow is a hard sell. Do you have enough. that? Do you yeah, have my client. I I push yellow all the time. They don't know it, but if I, if I'm you know talking to a client, I may have an inkling of what 
chakra color might be off balance, and I right. would recommend that for them for their home. But yellow is a hard sell because um, uh, as we as we turn into adults, we suddenly lose our sense of fun colors. Where right. all these colors were super fun when, when we were kids. Yeah. And now when we're adults, we have to use well, the Well, because we, we, we grew up on Different. Crayola crayons, so everything was bright. Yeah. And well, you know, an, another thing we can do uh, to help with the balance of chakras is to incorporate artwork. Like behind me, I have some of my paintings. Oh, did you paint them? I did. Oh, yeah. let's see. Yeah. Well, this one over here, the purple one, um, again, that's all about the uh, the crown chakra. See the purple in that? Oh, that's beautiful. So when beautiful. I look at that, I immediately connect with my crown chakra. Is, it, is that a sunset or a moon? What is that? Um, I, It's I, actually a sunrise. Sunrise. It's beautiful. Thank you. Yeah. And uh, the one on the other side here is... Uh, it's a, they're both finger paintings, by the way. So you're an artist as well. Yeah. <laughs> Because you've got this relationship with color beyond yeah, I, what most of us have. Yeah, I am all so, about the color. Yeah, and and uh, to take it one step further, each uh, you know, I also you know study angels as well. Each angel has its own color. Oh, it know. does. Oh yes. <laughs> oh. So, um, well, I mean, are you like if I walked into Lowe's or Home Depot, would you be there with the painting people saying put a little bit of this and a little bit of that, like? Like like um, a recipe? Uh, well, don't laugh, but I used to do that way back in the day. Wait yeah. a second. You did that for a living? So many years ago. For Home Depot and Lowe's. Yeah. Ha! Huh. I must be psychic. <laughs> you must be. <laughs> I must be. Okay, so, but the truth is, you probably gave people advice without them even really knowing your expertise... Yeah. And they had the the just the right color in their homes yeah, because they, of they you. Yeah, the money's worth when they came to Lowe's and Home Depot <laughs> when I worked there. <laughs> wow. Yeah. Those yeah, I mean, fun. you I, would I, be... I just enjoy color and, and everything about it from, you know, what color you wear, what color you paint with, um, angels in color, everything is... You know, I never really realized till I was older how important it was. Yeah, yeah. And what? again, this is going back to the, the virtual design. As a matter of fact, you know what? I have a, uh, a client that I'm, I'm still working on. Uh, she's a, uh, a doctor in California, oh. uh, she, a heart doctor. And oh. she found me, um, my, my website, and she want, wanted me to design a color palette for her entire office, her entire practice, and because she wanted me to put my intuitive uh, twist on it. Mm -hmm. I designed all her offices based around the heart chakra. How lovely. Yeah, so I mean, it, it doesn't get, I do it just got chills when I said that. How, how <laughs> lovely. So it doesn't get any, that's what I do for my clients. I really zone in on what they need for right. their home, their practice, and through, you know, my my intuitiveness, that's, that's what I get for them. Yeah. That's incredible. Yeah. Truly, truly so special. But I, I, I just think that, so... What what colors are in your home? You have the violet. What else do you have? Um, if I paint my home one more time, I swear I'll get divorced. <laughs> <laughs> but I constantly want to change the colors of my home for various reasons. Uh, right now, my living room is uh, it's like a patina green. I want to get green in the home. And, and this is, if you go to decoratingbydonna.com, I'm really pushing green for the home because it has to do with the heart chakra. Uh, green in the living room. That's love. Okay, Where the family so, resides and kind of hangs out most of the time because it's usually attached to the kitchen. Right. It needs to be green because that's where the love is. So, so decorating by Donna. By Donna com. Donna com is mm -hmm. where we can get a hold of you. And then do you work with people on Skype and um, virtual well, reality? or? I have not so far. Everything, all my virtual designs are, are, are done through email. Uh, I mean, I have right. such a strong connection intuitively that they just have to send me a few pictures of the home and they tell me what they want and I just design a, a color palette. Well, it seems like you keep wanting paint, want to paint your, your rooms and your homes because it depends on everybody's mood that day. Mainly mine. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Well, um, you are delightful and I appreciate that you are, that you've shared this with us because everybody lives 
in a room that needs to be painted. And yeah. uh, this and this really helped open my eyes to yeah. how important the, the colors really are, the color and it, schemes. It, and more so, um, it's more important to um, not follow color trends. Don't worry about what your neighbor has. Just worry about what you need to have in your home. That Big makes difference. sense. That makes good sense. So mm -hmm. it, it doesn't matter what the fat is. It matters what energy you need. That's and right. what about wallpaper? <laughs> you hate it. Um, yeah, I, I haven't worked with wallpaper in a really long time. Yeah. Right. Okay. So ixnay yeah. the wallpaper. Yeah. It's okay, it. Donna. It, um, yes. I know that some people are going to be calling you, and I I really appreciate your expertise in sharing you. it with us. I wish you well. Thank you so Thank you much so for much. being it was here. Such a pleasure. Thank My so pleasure. It's really fun. Really Thanks. Fun. Okay, you guys, don't go away. We're coming back with some fun. Just don't go anywhere. If you like what you've seen on Char Vision, then go to char.net and book a personal reading with me, or join a group reading, or join one of my workshops where I teach you to be psychic and intuitive. Hey, come on in. Hello. Hi. I'm Char. Leah, nice to meet you. Leah, nice to meet you. Okay, have you ever had a reading before? Yes. Oh, you have? Okay, good. Everybody reads differently, so I just need you to work with my um, process. Um, what I do is a creative process, and I hear things, and I feel things, and it's, I, I hear initials, I get, I hear phonetically. So when I give you an initial, just say yes or no, or a name. Don't say the name if I don't say it first. Okay. You can repeat it if I do. And be open about everybody living and deceased, because I don't always know if I'm getting something from a spirit identifying themselves, or if they're telling me about someone living around you. So just be open about everybody living and deceased. Okay. And, um, okay, well, first, I'm getting somebody who's a B or R. Do you have family that's a B? Yes. A male B or a female B? Uh, B or R? Uh, female with a B, male with a R. Okay, and the B name with the female, is it spelled B with an A in it? Yes. Barbara or B A? Yes. R? No. But B A? Yes. Your sister? Yeah, my it'd be my mom. Your mom. She starts B A. It's her last name. Oh, her last name's B A. Okay. Yeah. And then the R person is that a male? Yes. Is it R O? Yes. Robert? Yes. Is it your dad? Or no. or family? Family. Your grandpa or your brother? Brother. Your brother's Robert. Okay, he's living though, right? Yes. Is there a Ken or Ke Kevin or Ken or Kay or Chris? There's, there's both. There's a Kevin and a Chris. Who is this? Cousin. Are they? Oh, I, why am I picking up on them? Did you talk to them recently, or you, you're really not connected with them? Not connected with them. Somebody's in here talking to me. Do you have a grandmother deceased? Yes. Is she an M or an N? Was there M or N in her name? The M, but the, it was a nickname. Was it, it like Mima or yes, Mima? Yes, Mima. Mima's in here, and she's talking about all her kids, like her grandkids or you, and your and and she's. I don't know. If she's got a plate of cookies or a plate of baked things that she's she always things. bakes. Yeah, she always yeah. Bakes. She's got it. She's handing you her baked things. And she's really happy. And she's telling me about Rose or Rosie. One second. Okay, sorry. Do you, do you know why? Why is she showing? Did she grow roses? I don't know why. There are roses. She did grow roses in her house, but I, I also there's someone on the other side of the family named Rose. Or Close. who had Rosie? Rose. Rosalie, Rosemary. Rosemary, yes. My aunt Rosemary on the and other side. Is she deceased then? No, Rosemary's living. Oh, she's living, but yes. she's on the other side of the family. Yes. 
why would she tell me about her? Is there a health issue with her or... Um, I, I don't know why, but she's acknowledging Rosemary, and I don't know why. And I'm also hearing a J name, like a, a family that's a J? Yes. A male? Yes. Like a Joe or John? Or John is my dad. John. Okay, and John my, is your dad. And my grandfather is deceased. Is that Mima's husband? John. Yes. Yeah. They're together. Yes. And they're, they're but they're in, in heaven together. Yes. And they're watching over you in heaven together. Now, are you thinking about um, doing work, working in a sport, like doing something with work, or some, or going to school, or training in something new, or training in something new for work, or anything where you would help people, uh, or anything with healing or helping, or my, my or does your a nurse. your mom's a nurse? Okay, are you are you trying to do something new though with your career? Maybe. I've been thinking about it. Or do something part time. Like, would you do something with a sport, or do something part time with a sport? Um, I work with my stu my martial arts studio part time. You work at your martial arts studio. Okay. Well, we're in front of a martial arts studio, so I know she works there. But I feel like that's. That's a good release for you. That's yes. a good thing. That's a healthy thing. And I feel like people really love you and that you're very caring. You're very giving. Thank you. You're like you go out of your way. You're almost too nice. No, you, you're <laughs> almost too nice. And you, you need, you want to make sure people don't take advantage of your good heart. Does that happen? I, I don't think so. Good. Well, just don't let it. I'll try. I'll, I won't. Because you, all I know is that you you have healing gifts, and I mean, you probably don't even know it. And I feel like you're gonna, I don't know. It's just, it's just, it's. Do you have plans to go? Do you like animals? I love animals. Have you ever wanted to go on a safari? That'd be awesome. I feel like one day you're gonna. Is that like a dream? I'm, all, I'm always up for traveling, so I would totally go. I feel like one day you're going to do something like that. And also, do you, do you pick up stray animals? I wish. We live in an apartment, so not real. I mean, I, we, there was a dog the other day who we thought was stray that my husband and I just kind of stood next to I until someone came. To, I, I think came found okay. it. Okay, I don't know what I'm getting. I, I think you're going to end up moving. Maybe, I don't, I think you're going to end up moving where you can have a dog. That's what you want to do, right? I mean, I've always wanted a dog, but I have the a dog. feeling there's going to be an opportunity for you guys to move. You're not going to stay at the apartment. You're going to end up changing and moving. Nice. That's what your goal is. Do we have a, do we have a time frame? Like, I'm sometimes off with timing, but I feel like within two, three years. Does that make sense? Help a little sooner, but I'll take it. It's within this time. Yes. Start looking. We are actually. We're, we're actually looking to rent houses. Well, I, I could be off with the timing because I saw two or three. So it could be within two or three months. So I don't yeah. know. I'll take it. But I, I just see within this time. Cool. I'm sometimes off with timing. Or if I see a two or three, it could be February or March. Because the second month, the third month. Was John in the service? Yes. Because he's in a uniform. Yes. He's showing me the picture of him. God, yes. Did he have medals? I believe he did. Because he's very proud and he comes very young. There must be an old black and white picture of him. Yes, my mom has it on Facebook all the time. Yeah. She's, he's, he knows that they, that she sends it out. And that, and because when we pray for our loved ones on the other side, they know it. They feel it. They see it. And he likes your husband. You've got a good husband. I do have a good husband. He's adorable. He and he's crazy about you. Crazy about you. Yeah. It's really, really nice. Who's the D? 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 That's on my other grandmother. Does she start with D or her name's D? It's nickname. Dee Dee? Yes. Dee Dee's here. She got both of my grandmother's nicknames. <laughs> Mima and Dee Dee. Okay. 
That's my, my always, dad's mom. Always listen to the Dee Dee's here. And she's, she's talking about somebody that... Did your dad have a health issue? Yes. I feel like he'll be okay, but they... Did they give him medicine or... Yes. Treatments or yes. something? Yeah. Like, I feel like they can fix him. She's watching over him. They're watching over him. special cloth. You're not like many people. And I'm, I I mean that when I say it. I feel it when I feel your energy. Um, is your husband, is your husband, did he lose a family person, your husband? Yes. A brother or a mother? A mother. Mother. Yep. I was hearing other. I feel like his mother watches over you guys. Has she been ill? Yeah, or emotionally bad. Yeah. Did she commit suicide? Or, or she was just mentally off? She uh, uh, had substance abuse. She had what? Substance, substance abuse. abuse. Yeah, because I feel whatever she did caused her death. Yes. For it, yeah. Maybe it wasn't suicide, but the substance abuse caused her That's, to die. That was the what they said, yeah. Yeah, so she kind of like suicide, but not. Or maybe there was a part of her screaming. You need to tell your husband she's getting help on the other side. They're, they're working on healing her. Okay. Um, and, uh, okay, hold on. I'm going to look her down. Yeah, I know the in-house got for yeah. Okay. Um, tell your husband that his, his mom is getting help. Is your husband hesitant about having children because of his genetics, his mother's genetic or the drinking issues? Yes. He's worried about having kids. Are you not sure if you want kids? No. We, we want them. We're trying. Okay, because I feel like you don't have to worry about the genetics, but I know that that's in his head. Tell him to get that out of his head. Don't hold that in his head. I'll get that out of his head. You're gonna, are you pregnant? I wish, unfortunately, but Aunt Flo's there. Are you? Because everyone wanted to know that, but are I'm you, trying. Are you, do you need extra help? Any good vibes you can send my way. Sure. No, 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 no. Do you like a doctor who gives you fertility or anything like that? I just saw a doctor, and he said just have just have sex. Okay. Boy, <laughs> that's. I wish my doctor would say that. <laughs> doctor, good advice. Doctor, I, I don't feel good. Just Star, have sex. just have sex. Okay. <laughs> You're going to be pregnant. You will. And tell him not to worry about the genetics and stuff. And, and tell, you need to tell him that his mom apologizes for the grief he went through. But he did. we do choose our parents, so he must have learned some lessons here then. Thank you. I Thank appreciate you. it. Aww, Thank you. You're so much. adorable. Points. So, I just had my reading with Char, and... Man, she, she nailed both my grandmother's nicknames, not like Mima and Didi, like who picks up on those things? Um, she picked up uh, that my husband's mother passed away early, I, my grandfather was in the service, and there's a black and white photo, like when she got specific about the photo, my mom posts that on Facebook, like on Father's Day, and like during like Veterans Day and Labor Day, she's always like, her father was really big in her life, and my grandma was an amazing baker, like bread and all these other things, like all she did was bake, and my mom bakes, and that's where she got it from, the Pennsylvania Dutch, like that's, that's kind of how they showed love, they made stuff and gave it to people, and that just, there's certain just little things she just nailed that was just crazy, I would totally do it again, like I would want to do a sit down and just like take time so I'm not dealing with people on the street bugging and interrupting my grandparents, and I, want, I want to hear what they have to say, so awesome. If you like what you've seen on Char Vision, then go to char.net and book a personal reading with me, or join a group reading, or 
join one of my workshops where I teach you to be psychic and intuitive. Hey everybody, you probably think I only do individual readings, but sometimes I get a message for everybody. And I wrote a poem that was channeled through me, and I'd like to read it to you. It's called Until We Meet Again by Char Margolis, A Message from Heaven. My work is done, it's time to leave. Know that I am also missing you as you grieve. I completed my karma on the earth, and now it is time for my rebirth. I'm flying with eagles and dancing on stars. Please know that I haven't gone far. The love we have will carry us through until the day I am again with you. What an amazing journey this passing over can be. I am in good company. I know you hurt, but please trust me. Our journey together is for eternity. So until the day our souls reunite, stay peaceful and well and use your spirit sight. I will bring you signs from up above, a butterfly, a bird, my sign of love. Don't worry about me, I'm in good hands. Stay strong, stay positive and continue to pray. When it is your natural day to graduate from the earth, look for me in the bright white light. We have completed our purpose and all will be right. This is handmade. It's signed by me. It's an affordable gift for any occasion. Just go to char.net and click on store. Thank you. Okay, we're ready for who I'm reading for. Who am I reading for? Okay. I'm Sharza. Sharza? Yeah. Emmanuel, so nice to meet nice you. To you too. Thank you for being here. Yeah, you're okay, so um, I just need you to be open minded about people living and deceased. Mm -hmm. And um, don't just focus on one thing, be open about people living and deceased. And I might give you a name or initial, or two people may share the same name or initial. One might be living, one might be deceased. So if you can just work with me, we'll figure this out together. Yes. Okay. Sure. Um, now, I see somebody else named Manny. Who's Manny? Or Mary, or Manny, or M-A, M-A, Maddie, I don't know, M-A something. Is there another Emmanuel besides you? No. Are you the only one? Yeah, I'm only one. In your family. Yeah. Do you have a friend who is? No. Hmm. Why am I getting that? Does someone, anyone call you Manny? Uh, one friend knows how to work. One friend what? In, in El Salvador, which is my native country. Okay, maybe. Is there an Edgar or Edward or... Edward. Edgar? Who is that? My dad. Your dad. And my brother as well. Your brother and your dad. Okay, so Edgar is your dad. He's living, your dad, or he's deceased? He's deceased. Your daddy's here. And I feel like one of the reasons you're having this reading is so you can know that he's that he's with you, and that when you miss him, when you when you f wish, oh, my dad were here to help me, he's with you. You need to know that. It's hard, because you're young. You, you, you left when you were young. So, and somebody's working with their hands with tools. Who is that? Is that did your dad work with tools, or? He wasn't even here. He was an engineer. Okay, that would make sense. Um, is there an L or EL or AL person around your family? Think about this. Is your, does your mom have an L or EL or AL? Okay, is there an S or C? Is he deceased? Your uncle, he's living. Is he S or C? Is he C A? 
Carlos? Yes. Are you close with him? Kind of. W was he connected to your mom or your dad? Uh, my mom. But who's the man that tried to be a father to you? Was that Carlos? When I was little, yeah. When you were my, little? Yeah. I, my, my I feel like your dad is a, is thanking Carlos for trying to take over to help you. Now, are you considering having your own business or running something, running someone else's business or being a boss somewhere? Yeah. Did, did you get advanced? Yes. yes are I you know. running something? Are you, do you have people under you? Right now, no. But are you planning to do this? Yeah. I feel like you need to, your dad wants you to do this. Is it starting a business? What is this? Uh, actually, I was a boss uh, before I got transferred here. When I got transferred here, I was that to just, just to get transferred. So right now, I'm not a boss. Uh, but the, yeah, there, there was a chance, actually, that I got it. I feel like there's a new beginning for you, a new business, a new working. I don't know, maybe you'll work somewhere and do something of your own. But I, I'm seeing an opportunity for you. Don't be afraid to start it. Is your mom in El Salvador? Yes. That, it must be hard not to be near your family then. Yeah, kind of. Kind of. But you needed to do this for yourself. Yeah. And you came here so you could succeed in business and work. And I feel like that's what you're going to do. And who's the young girl? Do you have a girlfriend yet? No. Are you open to that? Yeah. There's going to be a young lady for you, but you need to be careful that you find someone who's pure and sincere, who's honest, who's, I don't know, I, I feel, but I feel like you're going to, there's good, there's a girl coming, and be careful of getting her pregnant before you, you're ready to have kids. You don't want to get stuck somewhere until you really actually know it's the right girl. But there's a girl coming soon, and she's going to come after you. So make sure she's the right one. A therapist once told me a lot of people end up in relationships because they're being pursued. You don't want to be in something just because someone likes you. You need to know that you're the prize. They're the ones that are lucky. Not, oh, aren't I lucky? They like me. Think like this, because there's going to be more than one girl, and we want you to have the right choice. Okay? Know that Edgar washes over you. Thank you. Can I give you a hug? Yes, for sure. So tell me what that was like for you, Emmanuel. It was nice. I mean, actually, it's the first time that I got a reading, and I have to be honest. Uh, it's not that I'm a huge believer of that. Uh, I'm very religious, so for me, it was like, well, should I at least do it? I mean, but once I did, it was like, well, when she mentioned my father's name, I mean, it's like, what are the odds that she can knew? As you could knew, I mean, my dad's name. He passed away 11 years ago, so uh, just by hearing his name, it was like shocked. I mean, I was. Uh, I mean, that that was that. That's why it was amazing because uh, I couldn't. Obviously, I love my dad. I think about him all the time, but it's kind of nice for me to hear that he's right here and he's looking over me. So it was very nice. What did you think about the girlfriend comments? Uh, well, actually, that's nice, too. I mean, I've been struggling with my ex-girlfriend for almost three years now. And a few months ago, I said, okay, now I'm ready. I'm ready. I feel ready to, like, it's not starting something, but I said that. that it's not that I'm going to look for someone. Uh, it just has to be the one, the one person that just get into my life and uh, I didn't even know. So uh, that was kind of nice as well. So obviously it's not that I want to be alone for a long time. I've been alone, I have been enjoying my time alone, but uh, eventually, of course, I, I would like to. So if you had to kind of sum it up, like, you know, were you 
nervous about it and, and how do you feel now that it's over? Uh, well, now I feel glad that I did. It was nice, as I said, to, to hear those things, to hear about my dad and even know that uh, there's a person for me because I haven't been lucky with my ex-girlfriends. So it's kind of nice to know that there's a person in my future. So that was very nice and uh, I, I, I won't regret it then. But... I want to thank my guest today. Thank you so much for joining me on Char Vision. I love you guys, and I hope you have a great week.